Hai guys, bertemu kita kembali dalam Movie Addict Malaysia. Saya baru saja lepas menonton filem Sata sebab filem Tamil keluaran tempatan. Jadi bersama saya pengarah filem tersebut iaitu Ray Danish. So Ray apa khabar Ray? Baik, baik. So boleh ceritakan sikit Ray? Sata. Cerita dia pasal apa ni Ray? Sata ni is a non-linear crime thriller and it's like based on four characters in a small town. Basically it's about a gangster backdrop from a gangster backdrop and how an incident turns their life upside down. So it's a crime thriller Podcasters. Sentuh pasal crime eh? Film Tamil berunsur crime Jadi saya ingat saya Film sebegini Sebelum ni kita telah disajikan dengan Jagat, jagat. Film ini ada mirip dengan Approach Jagat Jadi boleh ceritakan sikit Macam mana direction untuk film ini Yang you nak buat What is your approach For this kind of crime movie Okay actually When I start writing the script Actually when we Me and my co-writer When okay. we start writing the script We haven't watched Jagat yet Jagat wasn't released yet Kita mula-mula okay. buat script tu Memang Jagat belum pula lagi lah At first memang kita nak buat macam dark comedy The film based on dark comedy Dark comedy like okay. gangster dia hilangkan gun macam tu hmm. Tapi when we start writing the script Dark je ada, comedy tak ada So we start like okay just go hit with dark movie Just do something dark and raw Then the word je So once we done with the script And during the casting process Baru film Jagat keluar And then baru kita pergi tonton Jagat And then Kubin kita cast Kubin dalam film ni After watching Jagat hmm. Sebelum tu kita tahu Kubin tu siapa And then belum tengok film Jagat lagi Memang tak tahu macam mana filem ni mirip Jagat sebenarnya apa yang saya tengok dia punya mirip dia ada sedikit in terms of realism approach dari segi camera work sebab camera tu dia nampak yang banyak handheld banyak long take and then banyak follow the character yeah. kan okay. actually once we done the script kita sebelum pergi shoot kita ada buat short list semua when I'm discussing with my cinematographer he's my co-writer as well Steven okay. and then uh, bila kita bincang <coughs> pasal how we want the movie to look like hmm. macam mana kita nak film tu like the look the colour the mood of the movie kita dah decide dah to buat film ni raw so the colour should be raw the colour should be under light camera should be shaky and should have long take shouldn't be like static if you watch the movie carefully every character like the main four characters have their distinctive uh, camera work untuk Kubin kita akan buat macam ni untuk Lingesh kita akan buat character dia kita buat distinctively for each character kita main shot if you look at Periana's shot will be like mainly will be like static and calm and composed because his character is like that calm and composed for Kubin and Lingesh mainly will be like shaky and all because they are they are impulsive They are not calm and composed They are like Diorang oh. Unpredictable They are yeah. impulsive So that's why Buat macam tu Kepada work there Menarik Sentuh pasal Jekar Tanda Untuk filem ini Ada beberapa Pop culture reference lah Kita kata <laughs> Yang filem ini Ditunjukkan filem Jekar Tanda Pada saya Jekar Tanda Merupakan one of my Favorite movie lah Filem Tamil Korang kena tengok Jekar Tanda Oleh Kartik Sobaraj Memang kena tengok Ini filem tu sangat power Dan filem ini pun Ada tunjukkan Sedutan Daripada filem Jekar Tanda So kenapa tu Actually filem ini Ada banyak pop culture references Actually when I write the script And I like to refer to pop culture I memang suka pop culture reference in movies Like bila saya tengok film pun Like dia orang ada pop culture references banyak Even Khatib Subraj yes, Dia pun dia ada pop culture banyak So betul? I feel like when you have like a pop culture reference Audience boleh connect with the movie Like apa yang kita nak bagi tahu. Like you said like in the movie ada portrayal of movie Jigar Tanda kan Ada scene gitu tu So I purposely wanted that scene of Jigar Tanda To be in that particular of my movie Because dia punya connection Apa yeah, yang betul. dia buat dengan dia So I want audience to connect what's happening With my movie and that movie So what's the connection That's why Like that movie Referred to Jigal Tanda And even before that There's a pop culture reference A movie reference of Basha Talabati Pokiri And even music Like sound Songs will be played And all that have a connection With the screenplay With the scenes That's why we had that Pop culture references Untuk kita nak sentuh Pasal score music Dan score dia pun Lebih kurang macam Jigal Tanda juga Sebab kan Kalau kita tengok score eh, Dia lebih pada realism approach Kalau kita kata realism approach eh, Kalau dialog Kalau ada dialog scene Dia kurangkan score Score tu memang tak ada Betul? Ya yeah, yeah, okay. So bagaimana Pemilihan Pilihan skor ni Approach untuk skor ni Bagi uh, filem you ni Apa yang you nak Sampaikan dalam skor Okay actually Untuk skor music ni Like you said Masa dia orang dialog Ada banyak skor music Skor music banyak Like a lot will be playing When there's dramatic no talking scene. Dramatic scenes yeah. When like Something like So I want the music To tell the story When no one's talking Something's happening I want the music To convey what's happening To that audience So mm-hmm. sebab tu kita Like we worked hard On the music score Actually ada banyak references From other music Musicians Other music Other films From Godfather From City of God I like the soundtrack So I Masa I kerja dengan I punya Music director Music composer For the original score I bagi tahu dia I want this kind of music I want this cause I played to him This cause all that, that From Godfather From Internal Affairs From City of God Saya so bagi dia score Tengok dia I mean Bagi dia tengok All the scores oh. And uh, kita Inspire from that scores yeah. That's how it happened The scores Alright So untuk filem ini eh, Subtle This is your Debut direction Right Bagaimana you ter- 
dipilih untuk membuat shutter? Adakah filem ini memang baby you ataupun you dipilih untuk no, memang, mengarahkan shutter? Memang baby I. Oh, so okay. actually I come up with a line like satu log line je. I came up with that log line and then I was like telling to my cinematographer Steven that time and then I told him like I had this line. Then uh, he said like, hey, we can make this movie. And then I told him like I don't want like a big budgeted movie. I just want like an indie movie. Can we like do this? And he's like, yeah. Just we can we can write the script and then then we start writing the script. You do it, yeah. Get to do write the script, write the scenes and everything. So all the scenes was like based on true incidents, events that happened in my life and his life to our friends, like the things that we heard, the things that we saw and everything. So so many happened to other people. A lot of people. We gathered them, we collect them, we made it into a screenplay and we made the script and like we pitched it to the producers. So likely this producer liked the script and uh, okay. he agreed for it. Morally, yeah. Yeah, morally. So untuk film ini, this is your debut director. Jadi boleh kongsikan sikit dengan penonton What is your favourite movie Maybe people can connect with you I like realism films Film yang ada realistic approach to the screenplay like, It's not like message or preachy Just like realism Like this is what's happening This is what I gonna show In future if I make a movie I hope so I will make movie That kind of movies that, that can have realism in it And that's what I tried in Sata So untuk itu Apa yang menariknya untuk Sata kepada penonton? It's 100% a Malaysian way. Even the title Sata has an implied meaning in our community. Like if you look at Sata, the original meaning is Baju. The real, the, the implied meaning, colloquial language, Sata means gang. Gang. Gangs. Go, okay, gangster. Gangs. Eh? Gangs. gangs. Like uh, you gang. Kawan. Mana, Kawan. You gang mana? Okay. I gang mana? That's the meaning of Sata. So even from the title, oh, I want to. Baju lah. Baju. baju kongsi kila. Ah, ah, baju. Ah, yeah, exactly. Ah, ah, exactly. Ah, exactly. Even from the title itself, we wanted it to be Malaysia. So it's a 100% Malaysian way with Malaysian. Movie. And incidents that happened in Malaysia. Kalau cerita pasal cost untuk filem ini? Yeah, actually we wanted it to be an independent movie. Memang kita shoot pun independently. Like bila kita pitch dengan direct uh, producer pun kita dah bagi tahu ke dia it's a limited minimum budget se independent movie. That's why he agreed because I'm a new director. So boleh kongsi sikit dia punya figure dia kalau boleh? Not more than 200,000. Not more than 200,000 tu that one only production lah. Production uh, no, including, including everything. Everything including marketing, marketing semua? promotion and everything. Okay. Promotion, everything semua dah masuk sekali dalam bajet. Yeah, exactly. Should be like that lah. Yeah. Kan? Kalau nak bikin filem, you dah bikin filem. Yeah, kan? everything has to be. Ha, yeah. bikin filem dah siap. Tahu tahu duit tak ada untuk promotion. Promotion, habis yeah. ayu. <laughs> Jadi cabaran dia untuk bikin filem ini. Bajet. <laughs> bajet. Eh? Because it's a limited budget, so we have to like finish the movie in the promised date. Like, you know, kalau kita nak shoot 15 days, we only shoot for 50 days. We can't go like more than that, exceed that deadline. We shot it like three years back, and then for us to release the movies, it took us three years to release the movies because of the budget. Because we need to work one by one. First, we have to finish the editing, and then we have to finish the color grading, color grading, and then audio post, uh-uh. and then everything. So it took us time because of the budget. Actually, we learned a lot during the process. Uh, okay, with the audio, ni pula kita tengok dia, dia punya diegetic sound and everything semua tu. You buat kat mana? Eh? Only everything we did in Malaysia. Everything was done in Malaysia. It pun it was done by our music director himself, uh, J Ragendra. He yang buat Foley untuk music. He yang buat sound to film ni. Boleh dalam film ni eh. Just nak kongsi sikit lah. Dia ada banyak bunyi botol botol dengan bunyi orang minum. And motor. Actually, <laughs> the bike motor dia memang kita nak as a character in the movie. That's why I played with Lord with the motorbike. So, pesanan ni untuk penonton di luar sana. Untuk shutter ni. Okay. Go and watch it in cinemas and uh, if you like the movie, spread the news. Tell it to your friend, your parents, your neighbours, your uncles, aunties, cousins, anyone that you like. No, just tell them. If you don't like the movie, You know my name, Ray Dinesh David, and uh, the producer is Murli Krishnan Munian, and the co-writer is Steven Ramachandran. So if you don't like the movie, you can come to our social media, message us personally. Like this is what you don't like about the movie and everything. We'll try to rectify it in our upcoming movies. If you like it, spread the news. Jadi jangan lupa tonton Sata di Pawagam, Surah Malaysia pada 28 Februari. 28 Februari ini. Jadi kepada anda yang berminat dengan filem-filem realism approach, terutamanya filem-filem crime drama, this is the movie for you. Yes. Dan kalau korang minat filem jagat, yes. Peminat filem jagat ataupun macam saya cakap jigar tanda, this is the movie for you. Walaupun dia low budget, dia punya feel dia ada. Thank you. Right, dan benda tu sampai. Itu yang penting. Okey, jadi jangan lupa saksikan Sata 28 Februari ini, right? So, raikan filem bersama Movie Addict Nation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ray.